Folks from far and near are gathering for the Omaha's annual winter fest today. Far and near, Elkhorn. February 16th, 2013. We're at beautiful Hawk Field at Standing Bear Lake Park. Everybody's anxiously awaiting the arrival of the Queen. As you can see, we've got the field prepped and ready to go. Mother Nature has melted the snow off of the runway. And as long as your plane doesn't mind a little bit of wetness, you should be able to take off flying land without too much trouble. It's going to be a great day for flying. Wind's blowing from the uh, south at about, uh, eh, maybe peaking at five to seven miles an hour. Uh, it's nice and overcast, so it'll be easy to see your bright colored plane up against those gray clouds. <laughs> Club President Bob Wheeler's arriving with his uh, J3 Cub. Thunder Tiger powered with a 75 four stroke. We'll see if Bob can get that sucker started today. Mikey Furrow's on hand to take pictures. The guys are tuning their engines. Bob Wheeler's got his four stroke running. You can see the lovely Mikey Furrow with his flowers. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you our 2013 Winterfest Queen of the Old Hawks. This is Joel Reed, and she came out here to warm her soul. But, Mikey, if I can have. Yeah, we don't need these cold. warmest day of the year. Yeah, yeah what is tomorrow? 50 something? Yeah, Now I can make this on you. Oh. Oh. So that's our queen! Yay! Go get warm. You'll see her tonight and she'll present you money. So that's great. Yay! So I'll get back in. Let me get one more. Oh, one more. <laughs> And Joelle, our newly crowned queen, departs from the flying field so that the rest of the festivities can commence. Club president Bob Wheeler bravely decides to lead the way with his J3 Cub. Since he's got it on skis, he'll probably have his lovely assistant Dennis Bender walk it out to the grass. You're a little thick there, Ed. I know. If you're just realizing I'm a little thick, Mike, you haven't been paying attention. Bob Wheeler is still flying his J3 Cub, and we'll get some input from Harry Perkins. What did you think of our Winterfest Queen this year? Very nice. Very nice hardware, software, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance Chris will let you take her home with you guys? No. No chance? Not even a picture. <laughs> Carmel Earl's out getting some photographs. Yeah, hi. Hi, Carmel. Bob does a low pass over the runway. Is that Fred Wilkie? Uh, it is Fred it's Wilkie. Fred Wilkie is getting ready to take off uh, with what looks like some kind of electric yak. Hey, did somebody forget to tell Fred that only helicopter pilots are allowed to stand on the runway? Yes, 
kidding, Fred. Club President Bob Wheeler sets up for his approach. While the J3 Cub is far too fast and agile for most Omaha's pilots to handle, Bob feels confident that he will be able to tame the beast and set it down gently. It may be upside down once it comes to a stop, but that's okay. Bob should be able to walk away from this landing. No pressure, Bob. <laughs> well, you can certainly slow it down, that's for sure. Oh, no, in the snow, Bob. Oh, in the snow. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yay! Bob used his skis. Yeah, you're going to need a new set every flight. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Okay. Bob is the first pilot successfully up and down for Winterfest 2013. With my like $10, I plan to buy new skis. Fantastic. What are the skis? About 15 a pair? Fred Wilkie focuses with laser-like intensity on his electric yak as he enjoys the winter's day flying. Man, I uh, lost it there for a minute. But I got it. Thank goodness. Well, the camera's usually a jinx, so I'm excited. <laughs> there you go. I like my little Very nice. Fred definitely came prepared. He's got a transmitter mitten around his, uh, you flying the DX7 today, Fred? Yeah, I am. Even with the muffler around it, I still knew what transmitter you had. How about that? Thank you. Well, you can tell by that little antenna sticking out. Come over here, close by your thing. All right. Pilot Randy Segerman's getting ready to fly. Meanwhile, Fred does a close pass over the runway so we can all see how pretty his plane is. Thank you, Fred. What are we flying today, Randy? An auction plane. Those are the best kind of planes to bring out to Winterfest. You did notice that Monaco's going on that way. Okay. <laughs> Randy's even brave enough to be flying on 72 megahertz out here today. Turns out that those radios still work. Who'd have thunk? Landing. <laughs> Fred Wilkie's going to set up for a landing. Let's see if we can follow Fred's yak here. Fred sets it right down on the tarmac like he's done this once or twice before. Way to go, Fred. Proof positive that Fred Wilkie gets his cash back. Pilot Randy Segerman's had enough fun for one afternoon. He's going to bring it in. And he's dead stick. Let's see how his auction plane lands. A little heavy, but not too bad. Randy's alive and ready to fly again. Way to go, Randy. With an exclusive interview with Winterfest Queen Joelle, how did you get talked into doing something this dumb? <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve is Zach's uncle, so, you know, just keeping it in the family. There you go. <laughs> promised for $500. <laughs> Well, you will be disappointed, but dinner tonight should be okay anyway. <laughs> so what do you think of all these crazy old men out here with toy airplanes in the middle of winter? You know, if it wasn't for my dad being a pilot, I'd say it's kind of <laughs> weird, but it's, it's fun. I you like already knew pilots were weird, though, because yeah, your dad's right? a pilot. All right. <laughs> 
Well, Zach, thank you very much for bringing her out to share with the oh, club yeah. today. We're excited <laughs> to have her as our new queen, and your guys are both great sports. Hope to see you at the banquet later. All right, see you later. And she was in a warm car and got out of that warm car to come <laughs> watch you fly out <laughs> in the snow. It is a spectacular show, so I'm sure this is a treat for you. Enjoy. <laughs> And as you might be able to hear from the sound of that rotor going around, pilot Brad Perkins has braved the elements by flying a T-Rex 600 nitro-powered helicopter today. Uh, nitro engines can be a little bit finicky in cold weather, but Brad's kept his nice and warm, and he's having no trouble at all flying around and looking good with his T-Rex 600. Way to go, Brad. The only good thing is I don't have a lot of And he just spun 360 degrees. Proof positive Brad Perkins has completed his circuit and will get his money back for Wonderfest. Way to go, Brad. Here's an extremely rare sight here at Hawk Field. Pilot Matt Myers actually showed up and is flying a plane. He's got an electric powered J3 Cub. Uh, he says that he does not have a lot of flights on this yet, so he was excited to bring it out and try here at the field today. Is this the maiden, Matt? This is the maiden flight of his electric powered J3 Cub. Brad makes a number of landings with his helicopter, the last one being the final. Way to go, Brad! Oh, there's the J3 Cub. I had to look for it. Matt Myers is still enjoying a nice, crisp winter day's flying. Pilot Mikey Furrow is going to brave the elements with his Phoenix Model CB pattern plane. Bob Wheeler is kind enough to help him by uh, taking it out on the runway. No, Sounds like Mikey's got his Thunder Tiger Pro 46 tuned and running okay. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, And it turns out, despite the long winter, Mikey still sort of remembers how to fly. It's real pitchy, so is that nose heavy? Way to go, Mikey. Tail heavy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dead, dead sick range. Well, when it stops, go ahead and bring it in to land, Mikey. <laughs> and pilot Matt Myers is safe on the ground. Way to go, Matt. All right. Pilot Mikey Furrow is still enjoying his engine running. It hasn't quit on him yet. Hey, there we go. Hey, way to go. Mikey Furrow laying short of the runway, but Nice dead stick landing, nonetheless. We've got pilot Frank Vanacek, who is not officially participating in Winter Fest, but is out here enjoying a nice winter's day flying anyway. Nice takeoff, Frank. Frank probably has more snow flying experience than the whole rest of the club combined. <laughs> Dennis, bring her down. Uh, you're welcome down. I got shut down. Well, maybe you have to shut it down then. Come on, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on, come on, come on. Hey! Yay! Honey. Yeah. Are you about ready to fly? Honey, I'm about ready to fly. Okay. Well, 
let's get cracking then. Alright. Here's the thing. My face is frozen. I know, honey. We'll get you and your face warmed up here shortly. Huh? That's a weird request. Who's helping you? Your buddy Steve. My buddy Steve is helping. everybody, he's flying. Pilot Ed Posh bravely braves the elements to fly his beautiful Sukhoi. Okay, we're done, right? We can go home now? Honey, the crowd's been anxiously awaiting my aerobatic showcase. I can't even see your plane. I know. That's because your eyes are too slain. I can't see the plane. I can't see it. Where, where is the plane? Why are you flying so high? You need to fly lower and closer. I, I don't see the plane. It's coming right at you. Oh, it's my finger. Oh, there it is. There you go. Okay, we're done. Event coordinator Stephen Peck is going to fly for us. His amazing aerobatic IFO. Only Steve would think flying an indoor flying object outdoors would work well, so we'll see how things go for him. Boom! That was a 360. Oh, look, it's flying better without a motor. Yeah. <laughs> that will probably be Steve's longest flight of the whole year. Way to go, Steve Peck. I thought about that. I have a oh, it could have failed as badly as that. There you go. The crowd wants an encore, Steve. Do it again. It'll be another year before I can fix it. <laughs> 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 And field chairman Steve Earle's going to fly. He's got an extra 260. 480 brushless setup from E-Flight. Normally I would say that flying an electric plane was cheating, but I flew an electric plane, so today it's okay. Way to go, Steve. Frank Vanacek's getting ready to take his uh, sweet stick up for another flight. Okay, come on. There we go. Looks like Steve came back with his landing gear separated. He might be out ten bucks. Meanwhile, Frank is set up on the other side of the runway for a takeoff with skis. Steve never says die. He's in the middle of doing some field repairs with his buddy Brad. He's going to see if he can't get this dog to hunt. Frank Vanacek's back down from another successful flight with his Midwest Sweet Stick. The field repairs are almost complete. We're going to give it another attempt.
Steve, Steve Flew! You gotta turn around once and come back and then you're good. There's Bring it around, Steve. But we and you're there. 360! Yay! Yay! Now you can do whatever you want. Landing is an option. <laughs> Field Chairman Steve Earl has successfully flown. Is this your first winter fest, Steve? Yeah. So you went from being a pilot to a dumb pilot. Congratulations on the promotion. I know you're very proud. We had 12 people that entered today. Excuse me, I, I usually okay. talk normal, but my <laughs> mouth is cold standing out here. But we had, uh, what, 14 people sign? No, 12. Math we is hard, Steve. Take your time. <laughs> 12. How much tape do you have left? So a dozen people signed up. Um, I forget how many flew. Something like nine, ten of us, ten, nine or ten of us. Yeah. All right. And uh, Steve Earl did the best because he crashed his airplane because the elevator was reversed. Quick thinking people put together some duct tape and duct tape some pieces of the airplane on, and he flew and got his ten bucks plus prize money back so plus it wasn't his tape so he got some free tape out of the deal yes he did that's never a bad thing Times happen. so was there any years. yeah any yeah. controversy this year about having helicopters fly in the winter fest because I've heard that if you mix helicopters and fixed wing aircraft that the world will end and that that should never be done as that, far as helicopter good. related catastrophes you don't have anything to report no I don't so helicopters and fixed wing planes flew together here at Hawk Field. Yes, there weren't any fist fights. Nobody was decapitated. There was no crying tears of blood. No, there wasn't. Very disappointing, Steve. But and thank did you, you for see that our report. Queen? Wasn't I, she beautiful? I did see our queen. Lovely girl. And I'm I'm in my sixties and I can still spot a good looking girl with my eyes. You have an eye for talent, yeah, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> Well, we will see you at the uh, dinner tonight. All right. <laughs> President Bob Wheeler, any recap for our viewers today? It's cold. It's cold. It's fun. It's fun. And if you weren't here, you missed it. There you go. There you go. Thanks for that report, Bob. Laurel, Ed Posh with Omaha's News. Yes, sir. You chose to puss out and not fly today <laughs> in spite of electric planes being allowed. Any comments? Yes. I had no plane I wanted to sacrifice to the winter guide, so there. All right. <laughs> <laughs>